Hi guys, this is Dia and welcome to Mom and Me. Two weeks ago, I posted a video wherein I talked about how I plan to declutter my home and today I am here with my clutter to clean video. Decluttering your home is a constant process which I failed some way to understand earlier. But now so that I do understand it, I want to make sure that it is an ongoing process and not just a seasonal activity. Mindful purchasing is my ultimate goal, which I am getting better day by day. I now think if I really need something before I buy and avoid going to places where I tend to spend more. If you do not purchase things you don't need, then no clutter will be accumulated at home. Simple. I have been putting away this decluttering task since so long and now I'm finally feeling it's taking over my emotions and my feelings. So I decided to devote two weeks to go through a lot of my belongings and try to declutter as much as I could. It was so overwhelming to see how much clutter have I accumulated over the years. My home actually looked clean from outside, but it had a lot of clutter hidden inside the drawers and wardrobes and cabinets. This can be seen from another perspective too, that I look very really sorted from the outside, but in my head, there's so many thoughts and emotions that need to be addressed and sorted. And as they say, if you cannot clean your thoughts, clean your surroundings and the clean thoughts will follow. So I'm on a mission to declutter my home and this video is the first step towards it. I am still to achieve a completely clutter free and organized home, but this is a very good beginning of a wonderful journey. It is daunting to see how much stuff I have accumulated over the years and how ignorant I have been and let it pile up. My focus always had been the space should look good from the outside, it should be clean but I certainly ignored it stayed from the inside. As a result, each drawer, cabinet, wardrobe is cluttered from inside. I want to let go of this clutter and let go of everything that I have been holding on to bring in new opportunities in life. I have resisted this for so long but not now, not anymore. I want to make way for new and better things to be part of my life and not the stuff that I have hoarded over the years in anticipation of using them which never happened. My biggest challenge was letting go of things that I was holding on to, especially in my wardrobe. I still had clothes that I had bought years ago and never wore them. I also had clothes from when I used to work in the corporate but I just don't want to let them go. But I kept them thinking I will wear them someday and that day never came. So finally with a heavy heart, I let those clothes go too. So last night I did some exercise. I took all the clothes out from my kids wardrobe and I sorted. Sorted everything they need pretty much. Still I feel it's a lot of clothes but what I have done is I'll show you. This is a pile of clothes. This is the pile of the clothes that I have sorted out from their wardrobe which we don't need. They are either small in size or they are ripped, they need to be donated or just thrown away. So this is that pile, so there's a little bit of here, a little bit of just falling down. So these are all the clothes that uh, we are getting rid of and this is everything that we are keeping. This also includes all the new clothes that we got from India plus the current clothes that are in good condition and um, their size. So this is everything we are keeping, which I'll put it back in their wardrobe. Similarly, for my kids, I was still holding on to their small size clothes that they do not even fit into. And I took my time to sort all these clothes out of their wardrobe. Now both the wardrobes look clean, organized and extremely light. Surprisingly, my husband's wardrobe is always organized. It, it, it just like once he's organized, it will stay like that for years. I guess it's his thought process that gets reflected in his wardrobe too. After the wardrobes were organized, I started not only feeling good, but also in control. 
control of my surroundings which gave me immense positive feeling you know negative energies get trapped in your house and the most common places are the ones that are cluttered cluttered wardrobes cluttered storerooms or any other surrounding of your home researchers have found that the women with messy or cluttered homes have higher levels of cortisol versus women who describe their home as being organized minimal and peaceful clutter and mess are linked to negative emotions like confusion tension irritability while an organized home tends to produce more positive emotions like calmness a sense of well-being and being in control so whenever you feel life is not going as per planned as per your wish just start cleaning up all the mess around your home and you'll certainly start feeling in control you know when we have unfinished task we cannot rest or focus on other things imagine after you've had your dinner and you thinking to rest on the couch and have some family time but a pile of dirty dishes are waiting for you in the sink would you be able to rest calmly <laughs> this is exactly what clutter does to our brain too Clutter represents unfinished task for our brain and this initiates the stress process. Even if you decide to prioritize and sit with the family for some time, the thought of unfinished task will keep bogging you over and over again till you get up and you just finish your task. Does it happen with you? Give this video a thumbs up if you feel that this happens with you. It happens with me all the time. You know clutter and mess can actually create more stress and anxiety but by simply cleaning and organizing and reducing the clutter people are able to take control of the environment and create a more relaxing environment that helps them focus better on more pressing issues in their lives This lesson from decluttering is a stepping stone for a simpler and more intentional life. Just imagine if you do not have excess, then you do not have to maintain them. And what happens when you do not have to maintain the clutter? It ultimately frees you to do what you really love doing, what's important in your life. So having minimal stuff at home and living a minimalistic lifestyle is the first step towards mindful living and your happiness. So let's talk about some benefits of cleaning and decluttering your house. One is you gain control of your environment. When people feel like their life is out of control or they are struggling with some uncertainties, cleaning can be a way to assert some control in their life. Cleaning gives people a sense of mastery and control over the environment. In fact, a study by the University of Connecticut found that in times of high stress People default to repetitive behaviors and cleaning is one of them because it gives them a sense of control during a chaotic time. Second, cleaning house reduces anxiety and improves mood. Cleaning helps you reduce anxiety. If you are the kind of person who puts Spotify on and listen to the music while cleaning, then certainly you are being mindful of the moment and enjoying the chore rather than taking it as a burden. Just being mindful, using nice smelling cleaning products, essential oils, good music, etc., makes the cleaning process enjoyable and it improves your mood too. Additionally, the Anxiety and Depression Association of America indicates that the physical activity of cleaning, coupled with the end result of cleaner home, helps reduce stress, feeling of anxiety, and depressive symptoms. cleaning can reduce fatigue and improve concentration too so isn't it fabulous how cleaning can actually transform our lives third decluttering helps in manifestation process in life you can manifest anything in life simply by organizing things isn't that amazing if you want to find out whether you're an organized person or not then turn towards your bedroom Many people's bedroom is very clean and beautiful but when you open their wardrobe there is hidden clutter inside just like mine this shows that you are holding on to your life your thoughts your feelings that is not letting you release those emotions and negative energies from your life and just by decluttering and organizing your wardrobe and just by letting go of something you are making pathway for new things in life Clutter is not only in your surroundings but inside your head as well. 
and when you declutter you not only create space in your surroundings but also in your life too when you declutter and let go of that negative energy that excess that excess baggage that you were holding on to you make space for a new change a positive change this is how nature works too it's only when you lose something god makes path for new openings and beginnings hence let go of this clutter and organize donate what you do not want as dr j medan the famous astrologer says that when you donate say in your mind i'm ready to share and ready to receive when you give in life is only when you receive so the next time you organize your wardrobe say in your head now i'm organizing my wardrobe and i'm organizing my life and my goals with it this is how you manifest good and better things in life fourth decluttering releases claustrophobic energies from your house try not to hold things that are not required or used by you when you pile on or hold things at home you're also keeping claustrophobic energies at home it feels like you're trapped and cannot get out this is what clutter does to your house sometimes you're unaware of the clutter at your home but this impacts your life directly how let me give an example when you eat too much of too much of anything too much of cheese or sweet food or too much of salty things this gets into your body and gets deposited it does not affect you immediately but eventually it will affect your system you may get high cholesterol from all the cheese and the fatty foods that you ate or you can get diabetes from that excess sugar or high blood pressure from all the salty stuff that you've been eating all the time similarly clutter that is just left at home will eventually affect your energies at home and imagine you live in that home that has negative energy so what impact will it have on you clutter traps negative energies in them which eventually affects your positive thinking and well-being so throw away excess paper excess clothes utensils and all the stuff that hasn't been touched or used in past 6 months or that you're not using your trash could be someone else's treasure so donate and release these negative energies out from your home fifth physical clutter helps you understand mental and emotional clutter When you declutter and let go of excess stuff from your physical surroundings it helps you understand the process of letting go. We often forget that we also have emotional and mental baggage that we still be holding on to and we need to let it go. So once your physical surroundings are clean and clear, take a step back and really look inside your heart and your mind and see if there's anything that you're still holding on to that you need to let go of. could be any regret or anger or maybe you have this deep hurt at some point in your life in past you need to figure out so you can take an action to free yourself from that mental and emotional clutter just like you have cleaned your house from all the stuff that was sitting there since years now it's time to look inside you and you have to get rid of all the emotional baggage that has been sitting inside you since years Now you may ask physical clutter is visible and easy to clean but how about the emotional clutter well for that you need to meditate and while meditating you need to focus on your inner self and try and connect with your inner soul and ask questions to yourself as jay madan says there are five why questions that you can ask yourself which will help you declutter your inner clutter your inner self Well you can watch the entire video it is a TEDx talk that she has done um and the topic was impact of mindful meditation on emotional well-being and if you're interested i will link that in the description box below and if i forget please ask me in the comment section and i'll update the description box because i always forget to link the videos that i've uh, spoken about in the video So benefit number 6 is less you have the less you have to clean simple when you choose to live with less it comes with its own benefits cleaning is easier as having less stuff means there is less cleaning to do in general when you have fewer things there is less things to pick up less to organize and less to take care of kids toys are 
perfect example here. If you have too many toys in the playroom, cleaning up can be a huge and daunting task not just for yourself but for your kids too which will make them overwhelmed and they will never do it. But with fewer toys, it is so much quicker and easier to clean the playroom. Kids have an amazing ability to make big messes out of anything that they touch and the speed with which they do is like lightning speed. They make mess in no time and which is quite amazing, isn't it? Having less stuff in the house means there is less for kids to take out, less to spread all over the house and less to clean up later on. So less stuff means less mess. 7. Decluttering is the only way to flourish your life. If you declutter, you will flourish in life. Let me explain with an example. Weeds. The weeds that we have in our plants in our garden. They are like clutter uh, for the plants. And when you take weeds out from, from your plants, they get more of everything. More of water, more nutrition from the soil. As weeds compete for everything, they absorb all the nutrition which will not give your plant an optimum growth which um, we can talk in the terms of fruits and flowers. Similarly, this world is driven by energy. We get energy from our food, from sunlight but there's both kinds of energies, positive and negative. And if we have clutter sitting in our home, it traps negative energy depleting our positive energies. So just like de-weeding flourishes the plant and it fruits and flowers better, decluttering your home will keep negative energies away from your home and you can flourish with positivity, great ideas, peacefulness, calmness inside you. So take out the weeds from your plants and your garden and your life as well so that the actual plant or in other terms you yourself can flourish and not be deprived of full love and care weeds are like speed breakers for your growth in your life so this is everything i have to speak about today but on an ending note you know guys every year in diwali we remove idle things lying in our house or in other words declutter our house. This is because idle things lying in any space bring dust and attract negative energy. Also there is more happiness in minimal things and it is always a good idea to donate things you do not use as your trash can be someone else's treasure. I will sign off on this note and I will see you in my next video but before you go if you have any particular video request any particular topic please use the comment section below to share your ideas and your requests too i will see you next week with another video and bye for now